What's up guys, my name is Scott McKenna. I'm the Sales and Marketing Director here at ETF Logic, the team that brings you the Logically platform, investment research, and portfolio workflow tools for financial advisors. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the pandemic and specifically chart it out using our Logically platform. So actually, this is part one of a three-part video series that I'll be doing. Today, I really just wanted to talk about charting out the pandemic and the major market trends as well as the recovery shape that we've seen so far in the markets. Part two, what I want to talk about is strategies for advisors. So how they can react and both be proactive with events such as what we've seen so far throughout the pandemic. Part three, I wanted to talk about investment trends. So we identified a few investment trends in early March that we thought would be poised for growth during a recovery. We'll take a look at how those have fared so far throughout the pandemic. So first, let's review some of the trends that we've seen throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. As you may know, it started in early 2020, but really didn't hit the U.S. until February, March. In that time, once we hit March, stocks steeply declined, and the New York Stock Exchange actually hit the circuit breaker mechanism four times in under 10 days. Before that, since its inception, it had only hit the circuit breaker one other time. So a huge amount of volatility in the markets. And investors were having a hard time of filtering out all the noise and getting a better understanding of what was really going on and the impact that it would have on the economy. Before we get into the market trends, I wanted to do a quick recap of some of the economic recovery shapes that we might see when we're talking about a recovery from the pandemic. So number one is a U-shape where, as you can imagine, it comes down slightly and then back up until we hit the same levels that we had seen pre-event. Another shape is a V shape, so that goes steep down, hits an inflection point, then steep back up before hitting those same pre-event levels. Another shape is a W shape, so again, steep down, slightly coming back up before going back down, and then a gradual return up to that pre-event level. Um, Another shape is an L shape, so a steep down, and then just slowly coming up until the point where it doesn't really hit that same level of pre-market for years and years. So let's take a look and see what shape we've seen so far. And if you guys have any thoughts, please drop them in the comments. Let me know what recovery shape you think is most likely. So I dove into the Logic League platform to look at how many of the major U.S. indices fared, as well as the overall market. And I did so by choosing a number of ETFs that best tracked those indices. So the ETFs that I chose were SPY for the S&P 500, QQQ for the NASDAQ 100, VTI for the entire stock market. Also, I added IWM for the Russell 2000 and DIA for the Dow Jones Index. Some clear winners and losers when we're looking at this chart, right? The top winner being QQQ, the NASDAQ 100, seeing huge gains really driven by big tech. You know, they fared very well throughout the pandemic. The clear losers in this case being the small cap companies, the Russell 2000 companies, not having the same resources as the big companies, the large cap companies that are in SPY and QQQ. So the Russell 2000 ending up faring a lot worse off throughout the pandemic. Right in the middle is VTI and SPY, very closely tracked. As you can imagine, VTI being tracking the entire U.S. equities market. Right below that is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, placing in second to last. So that's how all the indices that I chose to look at today have performed so far throughout the pandemic. But if you want to check out for yourself how other indices have performed, other ETFs, even whole portfolios of your clients' holdings, you can go ahead and go to logically.finance slash free trial. And what you can do is request a two-week free trial access to the platform. So you go can go ahead, play around with all the advanced charting tools that I had showed before, as well as the other portfolio tools that we've created for financial advisors to streamline the investment research and portfolio construction processes.